we have our project. Now let's write some code. We'll head over to the project tool window and ask PyCharm to create a new Python file, which we will call player. Perfect. Now we'll create the smallest of classes for the purposes of this demo, and we'll just give it three variables. And note here that PyCharm is going to give us that code completion, which we can take advantage of by just pressing tab. Great, we have some code. Now we need to write a test. PyCharm's Navigate to Test is really helpful here. You can use Command Shift and T on a Mac or Control Shift and T on Windows, and PyCharm will toggle between your class and your test. Or in this case, it will ask if you want to create a new test because it hasn't found one for that class because it doesn't yet exist. So yes, we do. And we'll let PyCharm handle the simplest example code for our test. We have our test, but does it pass? Well, let's run it with our gutter icon and nope, it fails. It fails for good reason. It fails because we are asserting false. So we are expecting this test to fail. Let's change this to assert true. Note again that we're going to get PyCharm to give us code completion. Perfect. But not that helpful. How about something a little more useful? Yep, let's write a little test that tests the construction of a player object. We'll call it test under construction. And the test prefix is a PyTest standard, so it's really useful to adopt so PyTest knows where your tests are. We'll just do a simple assertion that we are in fact creating a player object. And it passes, right? Yes, it passes. We can run it with our keyboard shortcuts again, so Control and R or Shift and F10, or any of the other ways that we went through in the previous video, so your gutter icons or your right click context menu. Congratulations, you've learned how to write your very first PyTest test. You learned how to create it, name it, run it, and how PyCharm's code completion can help you along the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out this QR code for more PyTest resources.